Questions regarding the weight of competition service rifles are very common. These are asked by those new to high power rifle competition, as well as people who have shot matches before. The most common weight question I get is, how much does your competition service rifle weigh? Instead of just answering the question with a number, I'll explain why the weight of these rifles varies. First, let's look at rules. It's important to note that neither the NRA nor CMP rulebooks dictate a maximum or a minimum rifle weight. That means that the rifle that you shoot can be as light or as heavy as you want. Before you start changing the weight of your rifle, understand a couple of things that affect the weight and your ability to shoot it well. One component is the barrel. Here, you can see that the profile of a competition service rifle barrel is pretty large once you get away from the muzzle. That means more weight. Additionally, the barrels on competition rifles are free floated. That means that they have a steel tube attached to the receiver that the sling swivel connects to. This steel float tube also adds weight. All this extra material combines to make the upper receiver assembly quite heavy. Let's weigh a couple of competition uppers on an ordinary bathroom scale. First, an A2 upper from the days of metallic sight competitions. Now, a typical flat top upper with scope and mount. This weight in the front of the rifle makes the whole thing rather muzzle heavy. This is a configuration that I have always had a hard time shooting well in the standing stage. One of the ways we used to offset all this weight at the front of the rifle was to add a wedge of lead to the compartment in the buttstock. This added about three and a half pounds to the back of the rifle. With today's adjustable buttstocks, adding some weight takes a little more imagination. Here, I have a one pound weight inside this compartment. In addition to the compartment weight, I have an external weight added to the end of the buffer tube. Weighing the two types of lower receiver assemblies shows almost a one and a half pound advantage for the A2. Here are the weight totals for both rifle types. Maybe more important than just total weight is balance point. The metallic sight rifle has 53% of its weight in the upper receiver. The optical sight rifle is much more biased to the upper receiver at 63%. Compare the balance points side by side. If you're going to adjust the weight of your rifle, adjust it to provide the balance point that allows you to shoot it well in standing. Don't try to target a particular total weight. Hopefully this answers some questions about service rifle weight and why competition rifles weigh what they do. Thanks and good shooting.